Pastor Pete here, coming to you from an undisclosed Sunday school room somewhere in Grace Church of Harmony. Coming to you because you cannot come to us during this coronavirus situation. Uh, I heard someone say that if the schools are closed too long, it's the parents who might find a cure for the coronavirus rather than the scientists. And maybe you're feeling a little bit of, uh, a little bit of uh, cabin fever right now. But anyway, we want to come to you with a message from the Word of God. You know, there's a benediction you've heard me use in church. It's the it's high priestly blessing from number six. And it goes like this. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And you've heard me give that benediction before. Originally, it was spoken by the high priest of Israel on a number of occasions, but primarily when he would come out of the most holy place on the Day of Atonement. You know, he'd, he'd sacrifice an animal, put the blood on top of the Ark of the Covenant, that wooden chest, and then God's people would be cleansed, uh, and God would dwell with them for another year. And so this blessing was always meant to be received as a sacred pronouncement of God upon his people. It's not just wishing somebody good luck or saying, you know, I hope you have a nice day. Uh, it, it's a binding oracle from God that declares the outcome of, of the atonement. Now, it certainly would apply to us because as believers in Jesus Christ, we have received the benefits of Jesus Christ's superior atonement. That's not just for a year, but it goes on forever and ever. You and I are forever cleansed. And the word bless means something like enrich or provide for. It can have a lot of meanings. So the Lord bless you, he said, and keep you, God says to his people. And the word keep uh, means to exercise great care and concern over someone, to guard, to pay a lot of attention to someone. So the idea that we would bring forth today is that because Jesus shed his blood for you on the cross, God promises to be your provider, he promises to be your protector, and he is always paying very close attention to you. No matter what's going on in society around us, whether there's a coronavirus or not, you're the apple of his eye. And, and he says, may the Lord's face shine upon you. See, God's face just beams when he looks at you. Uh, you are one of his favorites. And God is always working for you, never against you, for Christ's sake. Because you're his. And, and he says the Lord lifts up his countenance upon you. Now in Jewish thinking, a fallen face, a fallen countenance, expresses anger. Uh, Cain's face fell when he was angry at Abel. Uh, a hidden face expresses uh, withholding favor and peace. Sometimes the psalmists say, oh God, do not hide your face from me. I mean, God, don't stop loving me and caring for me. But to lift up one's face is to show approval. It's, it's, it's welcome, a warm welcome. It's acceptance. So what we want to say this morning is, God, for Christ's sake, because you have put your faith in Christ, God lifts up his face upon you, no matter what the circumstances are. Uh, even when the coronavirus, this crazy new way we're living, uh, this strange new lifestyle, God is not beaming at you, smiling at you any less, because he treats you that way, not because you've had a good day or a bad day, but because, for Christ's sake, Jesus always had a good day, and he lived a perfect life for you, and your sin was put on him. So God's always blessing you. Uh, he's, and God, for Christ's sake, has lifted up his face upon you and has given you his peace. And the word peace, or shalom in the Bible, it means fullness of relationships. It's acceptance. It's approval. You're all in with God. You're not on probation, but you're all in with him. And as Ephesians chapter 1 says, God has blessed you in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. That's a good place to be. And God has saved and blessed Christians so that we can share the blessings God has given us with other people. Let's pray. Father, uh, we pray for people we know, people we've only heard about. We pray for our congregation. But we think of any medical workers that you'd give them grace and protection and good health to keep reach helping others with health concerns. Um, 
we pray, Father, you would, and through working through people, provide a cure for this disease. We pray that we would be loving our neighbors and serving our neighbors, even if we cannot have much contact with them right now. May we reach out to them with a phone call or maybe provide something on their porch that they need. Um, and we think of those who are suffering right now. Um, some perhaps live in very tiny apartments, and for them not to be able to get out, really, it seems like they're in prison. Or for others with other kinds of challenges, Father, you promise, Father, this is, this is a, a promise you swear by the blood of your own Son that you will bless us and keep us. Your face is always beaming upon us, and you give us your peace. Amen.